नमस्ते माननीय श्री कार्तिकेय शर्मा जी आप दोनों के बीच में थे थैंक यू वाइस चेयरमैन सर फॉर गिविंग मी दिस ऑपरचुनिटी टू स्पीक ऑन दिस हिस्टोरिक बिल द प्रेस एंड रजिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ पीरियोडिकल्स बिल 2023 सर दिस बिल इज अ ट्रांसफॉर्मेटिव लेजिस्लेशन एम्ड एट रेवोल्यूशनाइजिंग द मीडिया इंडस्ट्री एंड ब्रिंगिंग इट इन लाइन विद इवॉल्विंग डायनेमिक्स ऑफ आर मॉडर्न सोसाइटी दिस बिल which seeks to repeal the outdated press and registration of books act of 1867 marks a significant milestone in our journey towards a more progressive and efficient media environment today we reflect on the changing scenarios of the mainstream media from 1867 to the present day we recognize the immense strides that have been made our media landscape has evolved from the advent of the print more than 200 years ago to the digital revolution from regional publications to global platforms and from restricted voices to diverse perspectives the press and registration of periodicals bill 2023 is a manifestation of our commitment to adapting our laws to the dynamic landscape to embrace innovation and to fortify the pillars of democracy through an empowered and responsible media sir i have personally been a part of the media industry spent 17 years in the media industry i personally witnessed the challenges and the impediments that media publishers have faced when launching newspapers and editions cumbersome processes bureaucratic hurdles and archaic practices have hampered the growth and innovation of our media landscape with the introduction of the press and the registration of periodicals bill 2023 we are poised to usher in a new era of streamlined processes increased freedom and enhanced accountability One of the paramount achievements of this bill is simplification of the entire process of launching newspapers. Gone are the days when publishers had to navigate through intricate web of procedures to secure titles and clearances from district magistrate offices and then wait endlessly for files to move to the RNI of India. Today we eliminate the arduous journey enabling any aspiring publisher to directly and seamlessly apply for titles clearances online at the office of the press registrar this monumental shift in approach reflects on our commitment to ease of doing business and harness the power of technology to empower our media entrepreneurs so as we intertwine the narrative of the jan vishwas bill we find a common thread of trust both bills are aimed at cultivating trust trust in the media and trust in the public policies just as jan vishwas bill aims to bridge gaps between government and citizens the press and registration periodicals bill 23 seeks to bridge that gap between media publishers and their audiences by fostering a transparent accountable and credible media ecosystem i would like to on thank the honorable prime minister and the honorable minister for bringing such a historic bill furthermore this bill addresses a long standing concern the use of draconian clauses that impose jail terms on publishers and owners of mi for minor mistakes we as a modern and democratic society believe in allowing media publishers to operate freely fostering an environment where the press can fulfill its vital role as the fourth estate without the fear of undue repercussions this legislative reform reflects on our dedication to safeguard the principles of free speech and responsible journalism however as we stride forward there remains a crucial consideration that deserves our attention i would like to through you honorable vice chairman sir bring certain areas of concern in the chapter 4 of clause 3 of the bill it is noted that any publisher can use a title in other languages even if it has been allowed to a publisher in a specific state language state and language while we celebrate the freedom of expression and diversity that our country embraces we must also recognize the immense investment that goes into building a media brand a newspaper's title is not merely a combination of words it represents an identity a reputation a legacy that has been nurtured over time sir this could lead to more litigation conflicts as we live in a globalized world and because of technology that becomes even an important aspect in the light of this i suggest and once again would like to thank 
the Honorable Minister for this historical bid. I would also recommend and strongly urge that if e-papers can also be brought under the same domain, because the origination of e-papers comes from the title of the main paper itself. Although it's a complex issue, it deals with other ministries, but my humble suggestion would be that if e-papers could also be brought in the ambit of this bill, it would be highly appreciated. Once again, I'd like to congratulate the Honourable Minister, Dhaniyawad. and I would like to support the bill. Thank you very much. Dhaniyawad, Kartikeji. वैसे वैसे मैंने मानने सदस्यों को किसी को भी पढ़ने से रोका नहीं है पर मैं अपने नियमों में प्रावधान ये है कि आप लगातार पढ़कर नहीं बोल सकते फिर भी मैंने किसी को रोका नहीं है मैं तो केवल ध्यान ध्यान दिला रहा हूँ <laughs> मैं अब अंतिम वक्ता के रूप में माननीय राकेश सिन्हा जी पांच मिनट का समय आप सभापति महोदय रूपाला साहब ने कहा द प्रेस एंड पीरियोडिकल्स रजिस्ट्रेशन 